<laughs> Fourth of July weekend. That means friends. It means family. It means fireworks, and of course, it means food. That's really that's the that, best that part. That should be like yeah. the first part. <laughs> <laughs> what better way to celebrate than a barbecue? Ron Futel joins us from Wild Fit Barbecue in Sun City, where they're gearing up for a busy weekend. Is that the sauce, Ron? Yes. What do you think? We're going to try this in just, a, in just a moment here. Wait, you guys are doing sports back at the station while I'm doing barbecue out in the field? Hold on a second. You did a fine job, by the way, with all the sports stuff you guys just covered. Steve Cook does a fine job, certainly. Wild Fig here is the name of the place. What do we have here, Steve? So this is our, our Central Texas style brisket. Uh, we use 100% USDA prime brisket out of a company called Brandt in Brawley, California. Not the choice, oh. the prime. Exactly, the USDA okay. prime. It's great stuff. Okay, no, and I want to show the wall back here, Chad. I know it's going to be a crazy turn, but tell me what this is about, Steve. So that's our veteran's wall. My partner, Daniel, is a... Uh, veteran and shortly after we started this he started what we call the american soldier or what he calls the american soldiers foundation of nevada a great organization does a lot for the local veterans you know providing sources for food housing clothing whatever they need and kind of you know no is, their, their motto is basically no veterans left behind you know great cause yeah certainly. they do a really really good job they got a big gala coming up here in november as a matter of fact okay so let's see let's chop up the brisket here what makes uh, as you're doing that what makes wild fig special different better um our, our focus is uh, you know as i was telling your partner earlier is uh, um, primarily what we do is we're kind of like focused on the meat you know we, we instead of just doing like barbecue from all over because i mean we're in vegas we're in a melting pot you know but we focus really on on the meat itself um so the true truest barbecue that we recognize is the carolina barbecue with being the pork and then the the, the beef out of texas so we do a central texas style brisket we do a carolina style pork now we've kind of evolved because I love that the smoker that we have outside, the post oak is a great flavor to the, the pork, but it's still more of a Carolina style the way we do it. All right, the post oak is, is the key. I'm gonna try some of this brisket, okay? Can ready? I, is it, is, am I ready? It's about to get dripping. <laughs> Chad, what do you think? It looks, Here we go. oh, that looks good. Okay, how many hours has this brisket been in? Um, these are little, so the Brawley product runs a little bit smaller, so it's been about 10, 12 hours. Now you got the hang. There you go. That is the hang. That is the hang. It is hanging. We are hanging with brisket. So let me get you guys a yeah. couple of samples here. Let's try a couple of samples here. Is it too early in the morning for for barbecue? Oh, never too early for barbecue. <laughs> barbecue is 24/7, baby. Oh, that is brisket is a tough meat, by the way. It might be one of the toughest. That is <laughs> that ain't tough. That's super tender. Very good. That? Very tender. Mm. And the, and the whole key is that one, like, like I said, the USDA prime and that post oak out there. That's what does the magic, really. You know. It's okay. primarily just a salt and pepper seasoning, um, and that's it. It's just the brisket is the deal. I'm getting fat today. <laughs> you will definitely on this stuff here. <laughs> okay, it's a healthy fat though. It's a healthy fat. Okay, so happy end. Shouldn't eat with your mouth. Talk with your mouth full. Should you? Um, anyway, I am. Wild Fig is the name of the place here, up in Summerlin, Sun City, Summerlin. Sun City, Summerlin. Sort of, sort of tucked away a little bit. You got to work to find it, but it's well worth it. Check it out of here. Steve, thank you very much. Happy Independence Day. Thank you very much, man. And happy Independence Day to you and the country. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks, wow. Ron. Appreciate it. Uh, we're, we're bringing some back. John and Heather, we're bringing some back for John and Heather. Is that okay? I thought we were doing the fire. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Fire we'll station. Both, what about oh, no, Sherry I'm taking the fire station, too, but John and Heather with some. What about Absolutely. Sherry and hey. Nate? Ken. Ron. What about Sherry and Nate? Nate got his at Roadkill. Sherry oh, okay. might get I'll, some later. Right. We got oh, a lot of places to go to. We're There's sharing the love. There's places here in town. Okay. Thanks, okay. I appreciate it. I'll hold you to it, Ron. You uh, know, one of the most enjoyable things about Independence Day in the weekend is you know, the barbecuing yourself, right? right? On the back of the grill. Oh, yeah. Or you can let the pros do it. Let the pros do the fireworks, let the yeah. pros do the barbecue. <laughs> you could say you're a good barbecue master, but nobody's as good as these guys. Oh, no. <laughs>